Bad? Not too bad at all. But neither of them bring you to shooting a boy you raised from the streets, do they? It's Canaan, right? You and that crazy motherfucker still tight after all these years. Shit, you trust him more than anybody. Question is, G, what the fuck do he gain from pointing you in my direction? You don't gain a motherfucking anything. He's my friend. I'm your friend. Before Ghost Kill Roller, there was Scrappy's history. Could Scrappy be another wasted character who really didn't deserve to die? Or he probably deserves the bullet for breaking the loyalty code by lying. Between Scrappy and Roller, whose death was undeserving. What's up, Power fans on YouTube? It's your boy Nino, and I'm back with another Power video. In this video, I'll be talking about why Raquel kills Scrap by shooting him from the right side of his head, the financial loss Raquel will face, and how was game plan with Kanan and Raquel. And of course, if you are new to my channel, you are welcome. Kindly hit the subscribe button if you are new, like, share, and leave your comments below. Now let's get straight into business. Now, before I talk about why Raquel shot Scrap on the right side of his head, I don't know what you think, but Scrap did himself wrong when he decided to lie about where he was that night when he was arrested. Some people may disagree when it comes to tagging Scrap as a snitch, but there is no snitch who tells the truth without lying. What do I mean? A snitch knows how he or she will end up if he's figured out. So he or she will tell the truth to who he's snitching to and lie to the person he has snitched on. Now, when Howard told Raquel that she has a rat in her crew, it was to protect his son from falling deeper into further troubles. Now, Howard knows exactly what he was telling Raquel to do. He knew how rats end up and by telling Raquel someone is ratting on them, it means that that rat needs to go. Now, let's not forget that power has been designed in such a way that once you have the potential of becoming a rat or you have exhibited traits of being a rat, you will go regardless. And don't forget people like Proctor, Spanky, and even Mecca. So for Scrap to get arrested, asked about it and he lied that he was hanging painting for his cousin, made him qualified as a rat in front of Marvin. He might not really be the rat because we still don't know if his mother is the CI or the two of them. But for him to lie that he was somewhere else, even you and I would have thought that he was a snitch, hence disloyal. For all you know, Scrap's mother is the CI and since they both found themselves at the station, Scrap appears as a rat too. Let me know what you think about Scrap's situation. Do you think he was a rat? Or do you think he found himself at the wrong place at the wrong time? Now, moving on, let's talk about why Raquel shot Scrap at the right side of his head. Now, if you notice something, when Scrap turned to see the face of the person who pulled up on him, his only statement was, nah. Now, from our observation, Scrap knew what it meant to put a gun at the right side of someone's head. Raquel being smart, she shot Scrap at the side of his head to make it look like a suicide. This was the reason why Scrap reacted this way. At this moment, he knew he was being framed as suicidal, hence his only word, nah. nah. Raquel knew very well that if she shoots him from the front or back, investigation will be run and they will consider his death as a murder, hence the police will start probing into his killing. So to avoid that, they must make it look like a suicide, like he shot himself. So even if they ran an autopsy, there was no struggle between him and anyone, the space was empty, the place was not forced open, hence it would be easy to say he committed suicide. And when the police find Scrap's body, they have no reason to think beyond suicide. Now, even though Marvin and Lou didn't seem happy with Scrap's death, there is no way either of them can flip one day since they are accomplices to the crime. Now, how would Raquel even explain this to Kanan? Very simple. She heard Scrappy was a snitch and he was afraid what the street might do to him for being a rat, so he ended up taking his own life. I understand how somebody could just get to a point where they don't want to live anymore. And we all know, Kanan will buy into this story from his mother. At the end, Raquel wins. So let me know what you think in the comment section, whether you also think Raquel shot him at that spot to make it look like a suicide. 
Now, Raquel might not go down for killing Scrub, but I can see her going through some huge financial loss. We've been hit. They want us to come looking for him. Even though some of the money she's keeping with Juliana at her shop are being eaten by rats, she still has some tremendous amount of money left there. Now, Unique's baby mama seeing her at the shop isn't just a coincidence. She told Unique where she saw Rack and Unique doesn't seem to care where she was. But later, there is a possibility of Unique having interest to know what Raquel was doing at that shop in the first place. He may also ask his baby mama some follow-up questions like if Raquel was there to shop or will ask her what exactly she was doing there. Now, the baby mama might not tell Unique exactly what he expects to hear, so Unique might be telling Raquel to the shop since he has nothing doing now. I believe even if Unique would take a whole day to tell Raquel's move, he will cause he has nothing doing at the moment. Now, it won't be surprising that the shop will be robbed and Rack's money will be gone. Raquel might figure out it was Unique's baby mama who might have said something to Unique since they both gazed at each other when they met there. If Unique successfully robs Raquel, he'll be able to make some moves and start bouncing back. So let me know what you think in the comment section. Now, moving on, in my previous video, I stated that Howard was going to make Raquel know that he remembers what Kenan did and he'll give her a tight terms and condition as to what she should do. Kid? He can't shoot for shit. And I also stated that his condition will put Raquel in a tighter position, but that won't stop Raquel from lying to Kanan again. Now that Raquel knows he hasn't lost his memory, she'll lose focus for some time, and her worst game might work for him just for some time until the he starts to get closer to him. His weakness will not only expose his fake memory loss thing, but rather will end up drawing attention to Kanan. It might not be his wish to make Kanan a suspect, but if he plays his cards wrongly, he might rather be putting Kanan in trouble instead of taking him out of trouble. I also think that Howard will at a point protect Kanan or start giving information to Raquel in order to protect Kanan anytime the police are coming closer to finding out the truth about the shooting. Now, as to how Kanan will take this news from Howard, I think he will start doubting his mother and try to be smart instead. So let me know in the comment section if you think Kanan will believe Howard when he says the truth about being his father. I can see Howard playing both sides, which is Raquel and Kanan. He's going to promise Kanan his protection and make sure Raquel is aligned with the notion that he'll do everything to protect Kanan. Even though Raquel might not cut Kanan from seeing Howard, she will try killing Howard again, but this time probably by herself. Now, let me know what you think. Let me know your theories in the comment section. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and most importantly, leave your thoughts and theories in the comment section. I'll see you in my next video. It's your boy Nino. Thanks for watching.